welcome back to the channel so in this video we will be covering the second spark interview question uh, in the series so the question is can you explain spark architecture and describe how job is executed so in our previous video we have covered this question that is a detailed comparison between apache spark and hadoop map reduce we have seen how apache spark is far better than hadoop map reduce in order to tackle the big data problems right so now let's discuss this problem so to answer to this question i have like found these two blocks uh, which are, are really uh, easy to understand and uh, they are uh, really good written right so the first one java t point so here like in order to answer this question uh, in an interview we have two the point uh, answers written over here right so we can talk more on this and uh, this one like uh, interview bit uh, like this blog uh, we can have a read of this also though so this has a very detailed uh, like answer uh, so like in order to an understand the concept we can read this but to uh, like given um, answer in an interview we can follow this one because this has uh, like to the point answers right so now uh, let's discuss so this one is the table of content so like in apache spark these all uh, like architecture we have these are the pointer so what is spark so i think this i have discussed in our previous video uh, this you can talk about a little and then features of apache spark this is not much needed so basically if you see the features are like this uh, speed uh, like uh, powerful caching so caching and all are not there in uh, hadoop so all these things i think we have discussed in our previous video so these two are i think you can ignore in order to answer this apache spark architecture question uh, the main thing which start from here like the abstraction of uh, apache spark there are two important abstraction and then the ar architecture you can discuss basically uh, this diagram you can discuss and uh, with the help of this diagram you can answer everything uh, in terms of uh, this architecture uh, solution right and then we have the application like uh, spark driver spark executor cluster uh, this basically uh, like now everything in the table of content will revolve around this uh, diagram that is spark context cluster manager worker executor um, right so then we have uh, like the cluster manager type different type of cluster manager and then we have like the one thing which is not covered in this blog is uh, this one like the mode of execution so this also you can have a like read and you can tell like there are three a mode of execution cluster uh, mode client mode and uh, local mode so whenever we submit a job uh, these are the three time of mode which are there uh, in which we can execute the job so now let's start with this so this is how you can answer basically so i will cover all these pointers i will try to explain all these things and uh, on the top of it like you can uh, answer uh, your question right and you can frame the question and answer and you can basically deliver it so let's understand so this is the diagram which uh, like the apache spark uh, architecture and uh, uh, around this like each and every pointer so revolves right so now let's understand so apache spark follow master slave architecture it uh, its cluster consists a single master and multiple slaves so basically uh, in a spark we cannot have two driver program right we can only have one driver program and driver program itself runs the main method right when we run the main method it creates the spark context spark context basically coordinate with the executor like basically what is the job of spark context is it sends the basically the code which are written uh, to the executor right so all those things i think uh, are written over here that we will read and uh, spark context basically ma uh, like coordinate with the cluster manager so this cluster manager basically gives a uh, water the executor which are there on the node uh, so it coordinate with that right so here we can see that we have only one driver and we have multiple worker node so one master and multiple slaves so this is what this pointer means spark architecture depend on two abstraction so i think we can s we saw over here also so there are two main abstraction of apache spark that is uh, resilient distributed data set and uh, directed acyclic graph right so now 
uh, you can get the question around this is uh, what is the resilient distributed data set so here the resilient means means is restore the data on failure so we know that uh, like spark create the rdds and it uh, it is really fault tolerant right so it creates a dag and uh, if there is any failure of a node it can it can recover basically so that is what the resilient means and distributed this we know that apache spark is a distributed system and it process the data in a distributed fashion so the data is stored among the different nodes and uh, the data set is nothing but basically a group of data right so the and uh, directed a cyclic graph so as of now we are talking about the two main abstraction so directed a cyclic graph what it is is so this graph this direction you can see right so this is nothing but the a cyclic graph basically so directed a cyclic graph is a finite direct graph that perform a sequence of competition on a data each node is is an rdd partition and the edge is a transformation so basically the node is nothing but what a uh, partition and uh, the edge is nothing so on a edge we call it uh, like they are the transformation which are perform getting perform on the rdd partition right and here is the graph refer to the navigation where the directed and the a cyclic refer uh, refer to how it is done so basically this is what it means and uh, this is basically a spark architecture which you can talk about in the interview now let's talk about each and every component of this in a detail so what is driver program i think this i uh, covered a little bit about about it so driver program is a process that runs a main method as we discussed like we have only one main method in a program and that's why we we only have a one driver program and this consider as a master basically run an application and create a spark context so whenever we submit a spark job the main method runs and it creates a spark context so in a program we can only have one spark context right and in a glue job also you might have seen that we pass the spark context right the purpose of spark context is to coordinate the spark application running the independent set of process on the cluster so it basically coordinate right it coordinate the spark cluster uh, to run a cluster to to run on a cluster spark context connect with a different type of cluster managers and perform the following tasks so here with the help of this diagram we can see that spark context is connecting with what spark uh, cluster manager and spark context is also connecting with the executor right now let's see how like this uh, uh, perform the job basically it acquires the executor on the node in the cluster so basically we know that on a node we have a cluster uh, like executor right so if you see we have two node over here and on this node we have the uh, executor right so this is node one okay let me own this okay so this is node one and this is node node two right so on this node inside the node we have this executor right and what executor contain is it has the cache so cache we can have two type of cache basically one on the memory and one is a memory and disk also right and a executor can job uh, do a multiple task at a time right so this depend on the cores basically cores so i think this we will discuss in our uh, next video basically where we will be covering the different terminologies of spark we will like spark architecture we are covering in this question and we will cover all these things like job stage task we will have the definition of all these things because in an interview like we get a lot of question around this our interviewer ask what is the wide transformation what is the narrow transformation what is the difference between transformation and action so these are the question we will be covering i like whatever i get i will add all the other terminologies also but as of now these are there on the top of my mind which we will be covering in our next interview question right so okay now let's uh, read this it acquires the executor on the node in the cluster so basically spark context basically it gets how many executors are there on the node and according to that what it does is it distribute the code which needs to be executed so uh, this point you can read then it sends your application to the executors so like the it acquires let's say two nodes are there uh, and two executors are there so we have the task right so it distribute the task right and it gives the code to the executors 
the application code can be defined by the jar or the python files um, to the spark context so there are multiple ways to give the code to the uh, like executor right at last spark context sends the task to executor to run okay so basically it gives the task which all the task which needs to be run uh, on the executor right okay i think we discussed uh, in detail basically what is spark context and how it manages uh, the execution of the job now let's talk about the cluster manager right so we know that there are different type of cluster manager that is uh, hadoop yarn mesos uh, standalone uh, scheduler and we have the uh, like i think kubernetes also uh, here i think it was discussed yeah kubernetes so these are the different type of like uh, cluster managers and like you can read in detail about each of this right so i think yeah so we know that what is the role of the cluster manager so the role of the cluster manager is to allocate resources ac across the application spark is a capable enough of running uh, running on the large number of clusters right i think this uh, covers these two points now let's discuss about what is the worker node and what is the task basically so what is the worker node worker node is a slave node this we can this we discuss right so we have one master node and uh, on this master we have multiple uh, worker node right so those worker node are nothing but the slave node on which the job is executed its role is to run the application code on the cluster right it runs the code basically whatever tasks are given to that particular uh, node it execute that and it returns the answer to the driver then we have the executor what is the job of executor so we know that executor reside where in a node inside the node we have the executor right and i think the according to this diagram also we can see so we have a worker node and inside the worker node we have the executor so an executor is a process launched on the application on the uh, on a worker node for an application on a worker node so on a worker node we have the uh, executor basically it run task and keep the data in memory or a disk uh, across them it read and write data to an external sources and every application can contain its executor i think these are the very simple pointer right so executor are nothing but what to process the data and it it basically does uh, the job uh, what is task i think this is a really important question so a unit of work that will be sent to an executor so basically executor gets 10 uh, let's say task right so those like individual tasks a unit of task a unit of work is nothing but a task right and according to the number of codes in, uh, allocated to the executor they are performed parallelly like those number of tasks will be there and uh, th they will be performed parallelly so let's say if the executor capacity is of five cores there are five cores in the executor so in parallel we can execute basically five task right if a uh, uh, executor gets test 10 uh, task then uh, like five tasks will be executed parallelly and then another set of five tasks will be executed parallelly so i think this is what you can cover in the interview and one more thing i think is there uh, which is the mode of execution so this you can discuss uh, also like the cluster mode client mode and local mode right so yes i think we covered uh, this question and uh, you can answer accordingly uh, in an interview so let's meet uh, in our next uh, interview question that is different terminologies in spark and we will be covering all these things over there right so let's meet in the next video